Good morning. Welcome back, Wieners. We're here at Camp Claw, getting things kicked off bright and breezy. Woke up at uh, 7 a.m. this morning, only because we've got a big day ahead of us. Today marks day number one of our first big trip up here in the North Main Woods. Some Texas folk are gonna be flying in today. We're gonna pick them up. We're gonna bring them along with this journey to chase after a very particular fish, a fish that has teeth, that is mean, that is nasty, and that I've personally only caught twice in my entire life. This is a fish that is arguably one of the harder freshwater fish to target, but can be a lot of fun if you are in the right area. So um, before we get on with ourselves and get on with this trip, we need to get a ton of stuff in order. So this is kind of the, the cluster that we've got going on right now. This has caused me a headache for the past few days. I just purchased a new boat. This is a boat that I'm really excited to show you guys. Unlike any boat that I've ever owned before, I like collecting boats for some reason. They're all very different. I got a center console fiberglass. I've got uh, a Lund Deep V bass boat, and then I've got the Low, which I soon hope to be selling, which is like a flat bottom bass boat, all very different genres of boat, but this one is very unique. Anyway, long story short, it got shipped from Nebraska to Maine. It just arrived a few minutes ago at the shop in Maine, and the problem is it doesn't have any electronics on it. No trolling motor, no graph, no nothing, just a motor and a hull and some seats. So I, uh, I gotta get a trolling motor. The only problem is, is absolutely everywhere is out of trolling motors in Maine and New Hampshire and even in Mass if we wanted to make the five hour drive, 10 hour round trip. Online, you can't find any trolling motors either. They're all backstocked and they, uh, they're not gonna be in for quite some time, but we do have a solution and that solution involves borrowing the trolling motor that is on the low and slapping it on this new boat. As much as I don't wanna take this off the low, it's gonna have to happen if we wanna make this trip go down. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Damn, she's dirty. She's really filthy. That, that's where my foot pedal was at. Like that's, oh my God, you can see it's thick. Well, the good news is we got this off very swimmingly with the, the new boat. The only thing is it's, it's raised. I would prefer like a Tarova or something like that. That's what I tried to order, but it didn't work. So <clears throat> beggars can't be choosers. In a scenario like this, we will take anything we can get. This is fun, right? Yeah, it's a great time. This is a great time. Well, I anticipated this being a whole lot easier than it is, I'll admit. The, the main issue, the last thing that we need to accomplish here is just getting the trolling motor unhooked from the boat. And they don't give you much clearance to do so. Kyle basically has to lay down and stick his arm through this little port right here, hold on to the nut while I unscrew the bolt, which is right there. Yeah, and by the way, we're we're doing this on the same day we leave for the trip. We gotta uninstall and get someone else to install this within like a five hour time period. And we gotta pick up two guys from Texas and we gotta get a, a big fish net and then we gotta take a three hour drive all in one day. When you break it down, it's absolutely ludicrous. Okay, all right, let's get, let's get on with this. So I think what the thing is that like, that's a whole lot of gas. Hey, hey, not and wash. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Unreal. Like, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, no. No, we're good. Huge shout out to Kyle for making that last one happen. I don't know how, like, you were what, to your shoulder? Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah this, is the, this is the hardest boat, probably, to rig and unrig a trolling motor, but I think we've officially done it. Yep, she's off. Pretty dirty. So I think we're going to clean her off, but hopefully they're able to install uh, this trolling motor. I think we have everything removed. There's nothing else that I can see of. Oh my God, uh, heavy balls. <laughs> Put it there. Back secured. We got the troll motor detached from the old slow in the rig runner, headed to the shop so we can put it on the new boat temporarily. I'm gonna eventually take that motor off and then put it back on the low and then I've probably, and then I've gotta somehow find the trail motor that I actually want, which is the Trova, which is specifically made for boats like the one that I purchased. But good news is we have a trolling motor and we're not gonna go trolling motorless on this big endeavor. So we're making money moves. Are you excited? Very. Thanks again for the help, dude. That was yeah, of course. pretty damn Just clutch. Pay my dues, you know? Yeah. So 
somehow we did it. Uh, I gotta give a huge shout out to this guy right here, Kyle, for putting up with me today. I've been, um, been an absolute schizo ever since I woke up this morning, getting trolling motor removed, then trolling motor put onto new boats, and then getting a bunch of gear for this trip. I actually had to buy a, a whole new net, which is back there, that sweet little blue net you see. That's gonna be essential for this big send. It's not big enough, just so everyone's clear. Um, probably big enough for a medium-sized striped bass, but we are gonna make it work because it's the only net we can find in uh, the Bangor area. We're going to pick up a special someone right now and then go pick up the boat. I'm very excited to show you guys this boat. I'm, I got to see a little bit of it when we dropped off the motor at uh, Harvey's Marine, and it's sexy. It is just so sexy, and it's so different, too. It's gonna be perfect for up here. I've, I've always wanted a boat like this ever since I was a kid, and to say that we finally have one is it's, it's huge. But anyway, head to the airport right now. I'm gonna pick up this legend and uh we'll meet you guys at the the marine or no i guess we'll meet you at the airport i don't know what i'm saying he's got his he's got his camp claw <laughs> i love it need a ride what's up what's, what's going up, on <laughs> the cole burford has landed you look you look main ready dude dude i'm i'm here yes I'm ready. i love it good dude. to see you how are you after you dude, thank you hey, yes sir class, cole's back uh, no, I'll whip, sorry. <laughs> so, can we whip? Yeah, of course, Kyle. The, uh, one of the OG members of the Camp Claw crew is back in style. You excited? Dude, I'm so, so pumped to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's so much, it's so cool. Everything is nice. We're about to pick up the boat right now. Heck yeah. Oh, actually, no, we're gonna eat food because we've not literally eaten anything. I haven't eaten all day. Perfect. Okay, perfect, yeah, neither. neither have I. What are your expectations for um, Maine? Dude, catch giant fish. Slam claws. Slam claws. Have a good time. I'm stoked that Kyle's here. That's yeah, I know. obviously really fun. I know. It's a dream team. Honestly. Yeah, we're, we're, we have a good crew here, and it's, we're going to have fun. That's main goal. Have fun. Yep. Get it, main big goal. Big weekend coming up. <laughs> like a very big <laughs> weekend. Big I was telling Kyle, ever since I moved here, I've wanted to do this trip, and I've never done it. And Ryan was like, hey, let's just do it. Like, everyone's <laughs> coming into town. I'm like, all right, yeah, let's do it. We had to get our ducks in a row, which we still haven't really done yet. We still need to rig some stuff, but we're almost there. Uh, Zach also flies in, too, later today. Um, so we've got another addition to the crew. Be five dudes, two boats, lots of big lures, plenty of uh, beverages, you know, just some good times, good laughs. I'm very pumped for this trip. There she is. Here it is, guys. Here's the new boat. I went and bought a center console wakeboarding boat. Had to get the red and black too, because you know we're all about that rigged life. No, all jokes aside, we saw this thing at the dealership and we're like, I've never seen a center console wakeboarding boat ever. It looks like it would just suck down wake. But we are picking up is the same colorway though, which is pretty funny. Where's she at? God, fingers crossed. The folks over at Harvey literally got everything installed today within like a few hours. Supposedly. Well, supposedly. Not everything. Everything we need at least. She said you cross the bridge and it should be on your right. Oh. There she is. Wow. You got the motor mounted. Let's see. Did you get the graph on the front? Check up to it and take off. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, we got a we got we have one graph. We got side scan. Wow, they really crushed it. Here is the new rig. I've been so excited to show you guys. I purchased this boat a while ago. Had to get shipped from Nebraska. It was one of the only 1875. <laughs> Pro guides. Pro guide basically means it's a it's a tiller. There's no steering wheel to this boat. Everything is controlled by hand in the rear. Yeah, huge shout out to Harvey's. They they crush this. Everything that I want installed obviously isn't done yet because we've got a lot, but we got two new batteries. It looks like we've got the rear graph installed. Also gonna put some um, downriggers on this too for like big salmon and, and trout trolling. I think she's ready for the big journey. It even matches the uh, the new rig runner too. Looks so gnarly. Can we do a tandem? Like I could put it right there. And then tow the boat behind the trailer. Yeah, yeah. or put it on top. Yeah. It's aluminum. Too. It's pretty light. Yeah. yeah. Feel good to be back, Cole? Feels so good to be here. I'm, I'm excited to see this. Check out the barn, yeah. Well, long ways to go. It's a work in progress. Got no electricity yet. Yeah, it looks pretty dusty. But, yeah, the loft is, is huge, too. I didn't think it was gonna be as tall, honestly. I think it looks, it looks good. Yeah, you can fit a sail. Yeah. 
Queen. Perfect. Yeah, Only three couple orders. The the ones got like five, and the whalers got like eighteen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here, wait, no, whalers. this is this is, oh, this is where. Whalers. See, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. that's cute. They, made, oh, but it, dude, they, made, they literally made them four whales. Yeah, yeah they did. That, yeah, One knows what's up. That's what we need. Yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah. yeah, that's a live whale. Uh, yeah. Or no? Yeah. yeah. That's that's not a cooler. Well, we're not throwing minnows tomorrow, so it'll be a cooler. Perfect. Right now, the boys and I are just getting adjusted and situated with this boat. This is so crazy to not have a console. The whole, like, to kind of show you what this is all about, it's just one giant open hull. Two live wells, two bait bucket areas for live bait. Like, take a look at this. You got this right here, bait bucket for some minnows, of course. And then your live well is right here. This is kind of your control cluster. Play some Nicki Minaj right here on your kicker. Fuel tank gauge. No RPM gauge, which is kind of interesting, but you've got your live well, bilge, horn. Of course, there's the motor, and it's all controlled right here. Here's your throttle. You've got verse, neutral, and then my favorite, forward. What you got going on there? I'm just going to... Big know, Orbis guy? Yeah, I'm going to try to do this. About five minutes is how long I think this yeah. is going to last. I think... You know, we get a follower up to the boat, you slap a fly slap down. Slap it down there, yeah. Might, might work, I don't yeah. know. Uh, speakers, right there, you got one, you got two, of course, white claw pouch. Batteries and single bank charger, which we'll probably switch for a three bank, is right there. Fire extinguisher, things get hectic. Gotta cool the bite down. Here's some uh, storage for presumably like 3,600 size boxes. Pretty clutch. Oh, this also doubles the rod holder too, or yeah, this is, you got your rod holders right there. Huge compartment, same one as the one. Yeah, it's, an, it's, it's just a, monstrous. Very similar to my boat. My boat that I have up in, this, I guess this is my boat. It's very similar to the boat I have up in Texas. It's at 1875, so pretty much the same type of hull. But like I said, no console. It's just completely open. So we're gonna spend the next few minutes getting this dialed for big fish and also some smallmouth and wait for Ryan to get here and Zach to land from Mississippi. It's a lot going on, but things are starting to come together and I'm very excited. We've made it, I can't believe it. Four hour and something journey ends right here. We are just like moments, yards away from the river. Just beyond those uh, trees is the Canadian border, New Brunswick. This is the farthest north of Maine I've ever been. It's a trip I wanted to do for quite some time. We've got an absolute dream crew out here. We've got Ryan, we've got Cole, we've got Zach, we've got Kyle, Texas, San Diego, and of course, Maine. Are you excited for this? When's the last time you did the, this trip? Uh, last year, in like really? August. Yeah, nice. So I'm ready, I'm glad to be back up yeah, here. Yeah, me too. We brought two boats, five guys. We got the Boston Whaler, which is definitely out of its element right now, but should do fine. And then of course, we've got the uh, the new red Lunsky, which needs a name. So if you guys have any good names for it, uh, let me know. So we are a little bit unprepared. We've got a bunch of yellow braid. It's heavy enough, but it's just not the right color. And the net that we have is quite small. Take a look at this net. Uh, mind you, we're chasing after fish that are what you'd call trophy. Very similar to Bonita, you know, trophy fish. Uh, this is the net that we got working with here. This is going to be on the whaler. It's very, it's very small, but it's the only thing that we could find in the city of Bangor. Got some smaller rods over here and then some big baits right here. The objective is to just get one fish per boat. That is, that is ideal. This is a very tough fish to catch. I'm trying to keep it a secret. Most of you who know probably know what fish I'm talking about, but I'm just going to save it to the point in which we hopefully catch one. But we're pretty much ready to go. Everything's dialed. We've got uh, food, wrap, sauce. He's got his Guggen hat. What's up, bruh? Let's run this, stick with it, stay tuned, and let's see if we can get bit. Wow, this is a steep run. First time cranking her up. Minty. All right, show. Oh. This is what we're working with today. We got two big rods. The line is not ideal. 
It's all we had though. Maine does not carry anything above 50 pound test. Should have ordered some, but that was my fault. We got a 500 and a 400 big soft swim bait. And then we got a twitch bait right here. Um, first time musky fishing, potentially first time catching one. Yeah, that's exciting. I only caught two. I'm not very good at this, but let's just pretend like I am with this. It's gonna fall instantly. Lob it out there. And this is just kind of a straight retrieve deal. It sinks pretty slow, but it is heavy. So you just want to kind of keep it off the bottom. Yeah. And if you do see a fish, let's say like, you know, you see one following it right here. And even if you don't see one, always put it in the eight. So get to like right here. Real wide. Yeah. Keep it away from the boat like that. And I mean, just keep going. Like you can, you can do this for like five minutes if you're yeah. still looking at it like this you can also do if you just get tired of doing the eight like middle of the day go out there and just do an l turn so throw this in and go and that's good enough but exactly. generally cool. always want to keep it because you can't especially with this water yeah. you won't be able to see him and if he eats it really hit yeah him. smoke smoke him if he eats it and um yeah i'm gonna color this braid real quick actually Sweet. keep it tight Keep that real quick. Right. Yeah, I saw him kind of getting antsy. I like it. Yeah. Your shoes. Go. Got it. Go. Legend. Nice job. So they, they eat fall fish in here? Is that the main forage? Interesting. <laughs> nice. I don't blame them for eating small ones. Or fall fish slap too. Should I get right up on it? There we go. What the f you got the small mouth? Oh no, just tangled. Wow, that was sus. Did something knock it and so it went sideways like that? Possibly. That was weird. Yeah. Could have been a little smaller. Okay. I'm gonna switch up again, Kyle. Oh, okay. I don't like the way it's moving. It's okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I gave them. Should have got more on why I just got one. And if you feel like you're hitting the bottom, just speed it up a little bit. This is pretty sick. Wicked good design. Yeah, I know. Sure thing, Skipper. This thing kicks up a mean wake. He has five, five horsepower Johnson on the back. Yeah, just humming. You ever thrown those big tubes? Like the ones that they... Big uh, musky tubes? No, but I, I've seen people kicking them for lake trout. Yeah. What, what the fuck? At the back, go, of, dude, it came out of the water. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, we did go. it. Let's do it. Let's go. That was so quick. 30 quick. minutes into it. That buddy. was so yes. quick. Dude, no. wow, wow. I'm shaking, I'm shaking too. To what do I do? What do we do? Oh my god. Oh, All right, I got some uh, pliers. I can no, I got pliers for you. Big ones? Yeah, bigger ones. Well, not huge, but they'll do. <laughs> <laughs> That was insane. I watched. I haven't caught one of these in two years. Come deal with your fish. I can work. Okay, with gotcha. I'll, I'll get the hooks up. You mind filming, Kyle? Yeah. Just uh, pick her up and roll. Holy f dude. We did it. I didn't think it was going to happen that quick. But first 30 minutes of being up here, we got what we came for. The elusive muskie. We're going to the bank right now to get the hooks out and send her on her way. Unfreaking real though, like I cannot believe that happened. That was the most insane eat I've ever had on pretty much any fish, period. 
There we have it. Oh my God, dude. Look at that freaking muskie. I'm gonna go to the front of the boat. Dude, it looks like you got hit by another muskie. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look at that fish. This is the exact species that we traveled four hours north. Basically on the Canadian border. Can Canada's right over there. I'm, sh I'm I lost words. I haven't caught a muskie in probably two years and this is a very nice one to catch, to get back into it. Absolute beaut. We're gonna put her back in the net, snag some pictures and send her on her way. Hopefully this is one of many, many more. <laughs> Absolute beauty. I love how four hours of driving equates to two minutes of chaos. Unreal. This is the best part. We need to put her back now. One last look. Send her away. There we go. Right. Wow. I cannot believe that happened. My first main muskie. <laughs> She's gone. Woo! We did it, boys. I'm good. It's time to crush some claws now. Holy shit. That's unreal. It's freaking cold. Oh. Well, wieners, that concludes our musky mission. There wasn't much that happened in between that glorious 15 minutes of mayhem. Uh, so I decided to kind of cut the video short. We did obviously fish the rest of the day and we actually fished the day after with, as you can probably guess, not a whole lot of luck, but I want to take this moment to thank you guys for watching this video and to thank all the guys that made this trip possible. Also, Ryan, Kyle, Cole, Zach, all these guys uh, made this work. Even Cole and Zach who weren't even on the boat when that catch happened, like just having them around was awesome. And it was it was a good experience. I've wanted to make a trip up there and to chase after Maine Muskie for years now and to finally do it and to hold that fish in my hands. Looking back, I don't know why we didn't tape it, why we didn't measure the fish, but if I had to guess, it was probably like low 40s, 40 right on the dot. Just a beautiful fish. I really didn't care about any numbers or stats at the time. I just wanted to hold this thing, look at it, smell them, touch them, and then uh, of course send them back on its way. But before we close out today's video, I just wanna show you guys what we're using. A type of fish I'm not very familiar with, like I've mentioned a hundred times, but this is the exact lure that we use to catch that muskie. It is uh, essentially a glide bait. It, it's, it's a twitch bait, it's a jerk bait, whatever you wanna call it. It glides, it darts, and it resembles a lot of what these muskie are chewing on, and that is a fall fish. If you're not in New England, you call them creek chubs, um, but up here they're actually a different species, I believe, and they're called fall fish. It looks just like that. It's a natural colored bait that is in the size of the fish that these uh, muskie are chewing on. Summer muskie can be difficult, but I, I'm very fortunate and happy to have gotten that one. We did get a few other followers, but nothing you guys really could have seen on camera, so I left it out of the video. And that is why I'm here in the barn, all the way back down in Central Maine, filming this, this wrap up. That's all she ate, is using a uh, eight foot rod. This is a heavy action power. This is probably on the lighter side as far as musky lures go, but it was perfect for throwing this lure and not you know, being fatigued all day. The reel is a 400 size casting reel, high gear ratio. Love this reel, actually really dialed. Just got one big power handle so you can winch those fish in. I hope to do many more missions like this. Not even in Maine, I wanna chase after muskie all over, um, but they can be a tricky fish to film. I, I, I commend the YouTubers that go out there and create content just around chasing muskie because it is a difficult fish to film. You're gonna go a lot of days with basically no content, no fish to show. New waters, great people, gnarly fish. That's what it's all about. I'm excited to show you guys what other videos we have coming down the pipeline. Uh, this is just one of many, but I'm glad we got the tick muskie off the much anticipated list of species to chase after in round two up here uh, in the summer main sun. But I appreciate the view. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you wanna keep seeing more videos like this, subscribe and drop me a comment. Let me know what, uh, what you enjoyed and what you'd like to see different. But I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.